All right, guys, we're back. So we're gonna go over GitHub, and uh, but before I do that, I wanted to actually, I didn't want to leave you out with this layout here. I wanna, I wanted you to actually see it. So, um, so what we're gonna do? This is a very simple uh, fix. It's what, like I said before, the children need to be, in, you know, uh, injected into the props. So instead of adding uh, like a layout, like it just, uh, you know, a hard coded word there named layout, um, this is as simple as uh, just adding this uh, interpolation brackets in there and then put my props which just means that I'm going to do an injection of properties and then in there I'm gonna use children okay and I'll explain what that means later so as soon as I hit it now here we go it automatically just uh, you know did its own um, refresh and everything and hello Gatsby is coming up and that hello Gatsby is coming from your index page. Let's close these other ones here. It's coming from your index page. So as you can see, I'm using the layout. Okay. And inside the layout, this is the parent. And inside the layout, I have a, ch a child called Hello Gatsby. So here, I'm telling layout folder to inject the children of its layouts in here. Simple. Okay. It's very simple. All right, so now that we have that and that everything is running perfectly, we're going to start working with GitHub, okay? And this is a very important thing. Remember, um, anytime you work on any kind of project, guys, have a GitHub account, okay? And make sure that you push constantly. When you change, at the end of the day, don't push broken code if you can. Try to fix all your code before you, you know, get it to a stable point. But, um, but I would rather just push my code in there um as frequent as possible and because if anything happens and your computer crashes like trust me i just had an entire hard drive crash on me <laughs> um just last couple of weeks ago like two three weeks ago and i had to buy a brand new hard drive with brand new operating system like everything was wiped out luckily i back up everything so it was very easy for me to get all my stuff back and all my projects were still on github so i can't stress it enough guys uh it's, it's it's very important to have all your stuff in your github account all right so i'm gonna go ahead and uh open this window here i'm gonna move these files here because uh i'm just gonna use this window for now so go to your github account okay and i'm assuming you have something that looks like this and hopefully not like that guy there okay that's me by the way nice to meet you okay so um so yeah yours should have like something in there whatever so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here and you're gonna start a new repository so you're gonna click on that and you're gonna name this whatever you want to name it doesn't really matter what you name it but for sake of not getting lost on where you are um it's better if you name it you know close to what your project is called so I'm gonna call this one uh, my portfolio because um, yeah, my portfolio is available so I'm gonna use it as you know call it like that my portfolio tutorial well, how about that that way I don't have I don't run into any any issue damn I can spell tutorial okay my portfolio tutorial and it works because it says you know it's green it's available so that's great description it's not important private yes keep it private reason why you should keep it private is because you don't want people to go in there and start messing around with your stuff and copy and steal your code as well and all that good stuff you know plus you're gonna leave yourself comments in the readme uh, file so let's keep it like that and then create the repository All right, so once you've created the repository, the first thing that you, you're going to see a lot of stuff in here. You're going to see um, ways to initiate the Git and how to do your first commit and stuff like that into your portfolios and stuff. And if, if, you're, if you're doing something from scratch and you don't have code already inside of a folder, then you should, um, <clears throat> you should do this, obviously. So you can start one from scratch. But in this case, the folder has already been created and it has already code in it. So... All you need to do is kind of move the stuff that you have in your Git that has already been initiated before for you for by Gatsby into this new Git remote that lives in your own personal account of GitHub. Okay, and then push to it. So this is where it's going to get um, 
where you're going to actually start uh, bundling all this stuff. So right now what we got to do is we just got to stop the development of the site so we can get into the um, control C. There you go. All right. So first thing you need to do is uh, you get the status. So you get status to find out what the status is of all your the changes in your application. Just move this up a little bit here. here. All right, so it says here in my status that in, that there were changes that I need that I not staged for commit that I have made. I made changes to my config file, which is true, to my package JSON, which is true. I deleted all of these pages. I modified that one. So all of this stuff I did, okay, and that is fine. But they have not been added or committed to your GitHub, okay. Not only that, but we don't even have it connected to our own GitHub here, so we have to do that connection as well. But before I do that, I'm going to git git add dot. So that adds all of the changes that I did in one big clump. Okay. And that's it. You don't get to see anything. You just, you know, you just have to add all of them. Then the next thing is going to be git commit. am because I want my master as well all of my masters and then I'm going to leave myself a comment on that so this is going to be my initial commit and I'm gonna hit enter and then it's going to get all of the changes into the into the commit so now the commit package it includes all of these changes as well so it's gonna be up to date to all of the stuff that you see here okay so now we're going to come over here and we're going to actually add again all of that stuff to this portfolio, uh, to this remote, uh, git remote. We're going to add that and hit enter. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> just to make sure, I'm going to do that git commit again just to make sure. Okay, nothing to commit, working tree screen. That's good. That's exactly what you need. And now we're going to do this git push right here. And hit enter, and it's going to start sending all the stuff to your GitHub account. And it's done. So, to make sure, are you ready? You see, you're already here. All you got to do is refresh, and you should be able to see it. There you go. So, now all your stuff is already living in GitHub, okay. And you including included with to you know with with that as well, you can see that you have the the readme file. Now one thing that I that you should notice here is that just like I mentioned earlier, there's no modules and it's cache and the public too, is it? No, the public should be there. No, the public isn't. Okay. So these three folders right here are not here. Okay, and that's what I said earlier about um that kind of stuff is get ignored. It, it, there's no need to send it to your GitHub account because once you develop, uh, when when you compile your code and you run your node modules package manager, all that stuff gets generated um, locally. So it's, you know, it it only lives in your local machine. It doesn't need to live out there in in GitHub and any of that. All right. So all this stuff is already passed on. So the only one thing now that I need to do here, just to make sure that my GitHub is running perfectly, is I want to update some of the stuff here in this README file. So I'm going to close all of this. I'm just going to work on my get me, on my read me. All right. So remember what I said. This is always a good idea to kind of leave yourself some, you know, some notes here. So I'm going to delete that stuff on the top. I don't need that. I don't need that. And this is, I'm going to name it something else. So I'm going to come over here and put it, uh, my portfolio, uh, notes whatever and you don't need any of this stuff here so that can go away quick start create a Gatsby site uh, you don't need to know how to create a Gatsby site that's not a big deal either but I do want okay so running running my no uh, um pushing there you go pushing to GitHub, so I do want that. Okay, so I'm gonna here use these commands. 
to push my changes to GitHub. Okay, I'm gonna delete that comment. Actually, I'm gonna delete all of this. And then I'm gonna put here uh, what I actually would do any time that I want to change changes to GitHub and I'm, I'm doing this again because if in a year from now <clears throat> I need to come back over here to this project and I forgot how I did this stuff I want to make sure that I remember how it's done over time you know once you have enough experience you don't need to be reminded of how to do this stuff because you'll know but um so yeah the master and comment here if you want to okay and git push all right so that's all you're basically gonna need in order every time you make a change you run these three in that order and you'll be able to push to your github account okay uh to develop okay so this is fine i do want want to be reminded of this um, CD into your folder and then Gatsby develop and your site will be running here so that's good to know the GraphQL is also good to know in case you forget that stuff you don't need this you don't need to know what's inside you'll you'll know so you can delete that and you can delete a lot of this stuff yep all of this can go Yep, all of that can go. And the last thing that I will probably let me just take all that those numbers. I don't need that. So the last thing that I would actually do here is I will make um I will make a um a section for my documentation documentations. Because I kind of do want to know where all my stuff is in case I need to have, um, you know, I need to get to it. So it's good to know where your documentations live. So I'm going to make this for bold and I'm going to put Gatsby in there. There you go. And then I'm going to put, you know, my, um, my link to it. Okay. So I'm going to use this same structure that I have here put it here and I'm gonna need that Gatsby Gatsby Docs Gatsby Docs alright uh, we don't need to have an image that's not necessary actually I think that's yeah no that's what actually needs to be there I'm not exactly sure how that I think I think this is so it needs to go let me use a different one hang on there's a better one sorry about that guys and... ah, there we go this there it is okay so we just do a little bit of cleanup again. So don't need that. Don't need this. That. Take that out. Okay. So taking this out. Prettier. Okay. So this is for the configuration for prettier. Okay. So that's good. We're gonna leave that there. Uh, Gatsby so this is where okay Gatsby there we go Gatsby and this is where Gatsby is going to live so we're gonna leave that there you go take that out take that out too okay there you go. Now we can delete the rest to here. All right. So, um, one more. All right. So you see what you got here? What I got? Go you know what? Just forget. Forget prettier. You don't need that. 
All right, so put the, a section title in here and call that documentations, documentations, documentations. All right, so here you go. So you see what I just did there. So now basically all you need to do once you have that is just make a few of them, <coughs> delete the links. Control D, 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 and delete it. Because you're eventually going to fill those up uh, with other ones. And then here you're going to use, um, <clears throat> you're going to have one later for material UI. <clears throat> material uh, React. gonna have one for react that's that I can remember right now eventually you're gonna you're gonna have some more so it's good to have just record a uh, few documentations and basically what you're gonna do later is gonna come back and put the material UI documentations link in here and the other link for reacting here that way you also you always have it into your um, github account and and in your um, readme so you can always uh you know see it there so save and obviously because I saved it I need to send it to github so arrow up to your git add and add it then arrow up to your commit and then you're gonna change your comment here read me updated there you go okay cool and now push it you don't need all of this just push and they should just push it and it's fine it's resolving good so now if I refresh my github you can see stuff changed my portfolio notes information how to push to github information about developing and start editing or whatever um, here's my documentations that I you know probably should have space between them and put them in different lines but whatever you get the point um, so my point is that it's, it's now you have information here for future use okay anything you want to add you think you forget added to this trust me it'll save your life okay and that's all we got till the next one